Welcome to Coffee with Bino, episode five. Got the coffee here. Can't right quite see it. All right. So last night we got some work done in the garden. Got our little step down done here. This is our uh, gonna be our bed pretty soon here. Just a basic outline. We got my brother-in-law coming over again tonight. So we're hoping for uh, making some more progress. It's looking good. So the bed's actually gonna start, this is gonna be the bottom of the planting bed. We're gonna have to build it up with dirt and stuff. But it's looking really good. This is gonna be the other bed. It's gonna be a door here where the door opens. Once it opens up all the way, the bed's gonna start here. And then as I was telling you guys, here's the step. It's kind of a big step down right now, but once we build it up, it won't be that bad. And then we're gonna have more beds running the whole thing. It's gonna be like a big long circle. You can come down the right side, swoop around, down there. It's gonna be a big bed in the middle. So yeah, really happy with the progress we made. My wife's happy. She's actually getting on board with the channel now. She thought I was a dummy for a while. Well, the first couple videos, I was trying to keep it a secret, like don't tell Megan, but she found that out quick. Got my compost bin over here we're working on. So the top of it, this is like the fresh compost. Eggshells, coffee carriers, some dirt. And then that's the good stuff. The good stuff's actually at the bottom, but when you mix it all up, I'll pull out all the fresh stuff and that's going in the bed. It's gonna help fertilize everything. And back here, I had to move everything out of the, the work area. So this is back in our secondary grow area. Everybody's potted up now. Doing okay, not great. Grow bag review on this one. Yeah, it's doing okay, but we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, so that's this area. And then I got my fence over here. It's a little rigged up, you know. I gotta get some wire to make it look a little better, but right now, for now, it's just zip tied. Those are some pallets I brought home from the job. Cut them down, you know, there's a little, I'll make a, you know, I can make you a video, show you how to make this little pallet fencing. It's not the greatest, but looks good. It's our fox glove coming in. This is our hydrangea, she ain't doing so good, you know. That one might need to get dug up and replaced. And we got our um, Rosa Sharon's, they're really starting to bud up good here. Kind of hard to get it to focus, but you can see. We got some good buds on the end of there. And then this, this is the original Rosa Sharon from the first year we moved in. She's budding up good too. Our rose bush really starting to come in good. The peonies, not looking too bad. And there's our favorite plant here. This thing's gonna start losing its flowers pretty soon usually only stays good for a while but this really is our favorite plant that we got here really cool probably about a good seven eight feet tall now it was shorter than that when we first got it bring it back here this whole fire pit or this whole walkway to the fire pit it's going family don't like it so we're gonna remove it Probably gonna turn into my putting area here. I was gonna put it in the back of the property, but we got a little grow space back there. So this might be chipping and putting land over here. This is my pile of dirt that I've been piling up for years when I'm doing projects and stuff, but turned out it was on my neighbor's property and we need the dirt anyway. So I've been digging it up and moving it over to the bed. And nothing new back here. Everything's about the same, but yeah. Maybe by this time next year, everything's going to be doing really good. Oh, these are our wild, uh, what are they? They're wild blackberries and they're delicious. But we were spray painting back here last year and some of the spray paint hit the flower or hit the plants and they didn't like spray paint. So they didn't yield much blackberries, but we're hoping for a couple pies this year. Back over to the soil area. Pro Mix, miracle Grow, cheap stuff. That black gold, that's really good stuff right there. I don't know if you can see it, but this stuff. Get your hands on some of that. 
black gold garden compost blend. That's good shit. It's good stuff right there. Yep. Got my ride on mower there. That's got to get repaired again, or it might go out in the dumpster. Yeah, that's about it. Patched a couple more holes in the lawn yesterday before the family came over. Hoping to get some grass growing because the lawn really is starting to look pretty good here. Got a couple holes. They're going to get patched and I'm hoping to have a really beautiful backyard pretty soon. All right, that's going to be it. Just a quick one today. Lake Shear. Oh, here's the lumber pile. Hang on. So this is what we got left of the, for the lumber. By the end of today, we're hoping most of that's chopped up built into beds. Oh, a couple other things in here. That's my tray. A couple trays Megan was working on last night. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you like, share, subscribe for more. Drop a comment, hit the bell, do all that YouTube stuff. Alright, peace.